Sports IPW. I'm the voice of IPW, J-Rod. We finally made it to Ypsilanti for an awesome night of wrestling. It began with a matchup between two heavy hitters. Chad Alpha made his way to the ring, ready to fight. But managerial aficionado Jeremiah Goldman met Alpha to make a quick announcement about Alpha's opponent. The 24 karat lion introduced his newest client, Mongo. A former fan favorite, Mongo hasn't been seen since War on the Shore and has went through a complete attitude adjustment. These brutes threw each other around until Goldmain interfered, causing a disqualification. It was clear that Goldmain's goal was just to introduce everyone to his new client, regardless of victory or defeat. Albeit a disqualification win, Alpha has won every match he has been in since January and is carrying enough momentum into the Fate of Fate tournament to be considered a favorite to go all the way. A triple threat Fate of Fate qualifier ended in controversy. Schwartzy took on Max Morrison and a returning Dark Gentleman. The match ended in a bizarre situation where the gentleman was tapping to the figure four from Schwartzy while being pinned by Morrison. The referee didn't know what to do, so he ruled the match in favor of both Schwartzy and Morrison, meaning both men have qualified for the tournament. Schwartzy could be a favorite to win as he has been great in 2023. And we have to be curious on how Max Morrison and Jeremiah Nazareth will handle both being in the tournament. What happens if they meet up? As for the Dark Gentleman, he took a tough loss, but at least he knocked off the ring rust. Earlier in the afternoon, Felix Morio was in search of a tag team partner. Jeremiah Goldmain secured a tag team title shot for the new gold team, whoever those two individuals may be, but withdrew from the bout at the very last minute. Felix wanted to capitalize on that opportunity and found Brutus Atwell. This oddball tag team took on our beloved champions, Real Hype. You could see that Morio and Atwell haven't quite developed any familiarity with each other, and that would end up costing them the match. Following their victory, Goldmain and Mongo came down to the ring to issue a challenge to Jimmy Shalwin and Mondo Real. The gold team will officially challenge for the tag team titles on Sunday in Grand Rapids at Destiny. Goldmain, a manager, will likely plan on Mongo doing all the work. Is Goldmain overestimating his newest client, or is Mongo good enough to win what will likely resemble a handicap match? Following the event, Felix Moria went back out to the parking lot in search of more assistance. Well, that didn't go our way. I tried, I'm sorry. All right, well, see you at the next show, man. We'll, we'll, we'll get better. And you, had to, you gotta keep begging? Yeah, man, I'm homeless 24 hours a day. Yeah, you know what? I I got somewhere you could stay, man. It's, it's I got somewhere, man. It's a house at the swamp. You don't even have shoes. There's enough room for us both at the swamp, buddy. We got it. You got it. I just need a little down Gigi Jacobs, an IPW newcomer from Cincinnati, Ohio, and quite frankly, a total prick, met fan favorite LaDon Sanders. This would end up being our Patreon exclusive match. Unfortunately, I'm not able to give any details on the match, so if you want to see it yourself, join our Patreon at the IPW regular tier. I finally got the chance to interview the former Michiana champion, Jamal King. King met Bedrick Bison last weekend in a brutal match of the year candidate just to have the victory stolen from him by IPW champion Ren Jones. Jones cost King the Michiana title, then gave King a nasty beating after the match out of jealousy that Jamal's title defense got the main event spot over Ren. King cut straight to the point, called Ren out. King was interrupted at this point by the war boy, Dre Jacobs. Undefeated in singles competition, Jacobs thought he deserved a shot before King did. King made the challenge to Jacobs, one-on-one, -on -one, right here, right now, to determine the new number one contender to face Ren Jones for the IPW title at Destiny. This exciting match was a delight for fans, and it ended when Jamal King cinched up the Supreme Lock and forced yet another submission. And with that, we've got ourselves one of the biggest showdowns in IPW history. Swag champ himself, Ren Jones versus Supreme Jamal King. Tequila Sunrise versus Supreme Lock. Sunday, April 30th at Bowling Warehouse for the IPW Championship. IPW fans will remember Jorge, the man who used to run the admissions table at our live events, was caught by Terry Van Avery with stolen merchandise and fired from the company. 
at the next event. Jorge showed up having purchased the ticket to the show and was invited into the ring for a match by Terry Van Avery. Jorge pinned Terry, and despite Terry kicking out, referee Otto Spencer counted to three. Jorge then revealed that he and Otto were working together and further punished Terry after the match. With that, Otto Spencer and Jorge, know now as two non-cons, faced the home team, Terry Van Avery and Josh Raymond in a tag team match. Remember, the home team had never been defeated. The former IPW tag team champion, who never lost the titles, but had to relinquish them due to a health scare, teamed up for the first time since May of last year. In a stunning upset, two non-cons took out the home team. This has to put Otto Spencer and Jorge near the top of the tag team division. Although a couple of dirty, rotten scumbags, they were extremely impressive in their debut. As for the home team, it's difficult to tell where they go from here. This is Josh's first loss since returning to action, and while Terry qualified for the fade of eight, he has to be considered one of the easier draws in a tournament after losing matches like this. Oh, I almost forgot. Derek Wolf sends us a message to confirm that he has scheduled time to speak at Destiny. He wants to address Josh Raymond. Wolf asked Josh to give him an answer for weeks now, and Josh is pretty much giving him the cold shoulder. Are they still friends? Whether you care to hear it or not, Wolf will have something to say on Sunday at Destiny. IPW newcomer Rory Shield challenged women's champion Randy West. Shield is relatively inexperienced, but a tough kid with a lot of heart. Randy is so feared that nobody is calling her out, so all Shield had to do to get this shot is volunteer. She wasn't much of a challenge for Randy West, but props to her for going after it. She did show some promise, and with some training and experience, she should challenge Randy again. We reached our main event, an unforgiving hardcore match between Hoodfoot, Mo Atlas, and Bendrick Bison for the Michiana Championship. For the second week in a row, Bendrick Bison put his body on the line in a match with virtually no rules. While he took a lot of punishment, Bison was eventually able to beat Hoodfoot at his own game. With that, the Duke of Debauchery, Bendrick Bison, remains the undefeated, undisputed IPW Michiana Champion. That concludes this edition of The Insider. This Sunday, we continue with the final part of our first triple header of the year. Two weekends down, one more to go. Tickets are available now on eventbrite.com. Get yours and join us in Grand Rapids, Michigan at Bowling Warehouse on Sunday, April 30th at 6 p.m. as IPW presents Destiny.